What's going on guys, Chris Rudnick here, and today, if you guys have been watching the past few videos, you know that the Rice Miata, she's been transforming pretty quickly, and I'm very excited about that. Like, day one, we just put it on the Dyno NA. Day two, we turboed it, we stayed up all night to turbo it. All right guys, well, it is 2.48, and we are still killing it. All right, start it up, Jack, show him. Heck yeah. Let's give her a wrap, dude. Day three, Jack did a 93 street tune. Day four, we put her on the dyno on 85. Now here we are day five making 200 wheel horsepower on 85 just 10 pounds of boost with the China charger All right, things are still gonna be progressing very quickly on Monday What we have to do is I decided to have the machine shop fully build my engine for me um, I spent a lot of money on the forge parts and I spent a lot of money of with them balancing it and everything And I would hate for me to ruin it and, and to learn on that engine So I think for them to assemble it, it's it's under $300 So to pay $300 and to know that it's built correctly and that we can just kind of put it in the car and be ready to go for 30 psi I think that's well worth it for me So don't worry that forge engine is coming very soon I just have to wait for them to open on Monday so I can drop off my rods my pistons my flywheel and all of that good stuff But today what I want to do is I want to take this thing to Mexico before we actually break this thing in at the compound I want to make sure she can handle light abuse before she handles the whole nine yards So today it's gonna to be a driving video boys. I'm really excited. I haven't really done like a driving video in a while. So today's gonna feel good for sure. Let's get on over to Mexico. Well, sadly, the place that I know in Mexico, their gates are closed. There is no way in and we just can't drift there. But there's a couple cool turns here. So we're just gonna take my ignition, my keys out. What do you think of that? Is this cool or what? Yeah. Awesome? Oh my God. I don't know, I just love showing people that anyways. All right, we're just gonna test this thing out, see what she's got. Here we go. second gear in this bad girl bad boy or bad girl um bad girl bad girl i'm just gonna spank second not bad we got a lot of chirp action going on there hell yeah all right guys so we're back in the shop um we're waiting for some dudes they're coming up by a turbo manifold and a turbo off me 150 bucks i think it's a pretty fair deal honestly i'm a little sad that we could drift more but I want to go do a zero to 60 and stuff and try to find more drift spots because I really want to try to like be on it before we go to the compound because once we go to the compound you guys know we're going full sense well like Jack says we're, we're just gonna try our best we were, <laughs> we're gonna try our best that's and we're it. gonna it's succeed 2020, at it 2020 we tried our best we tried our best that's that's, that's good true. we're gonna try our best so we're gonna wait for these guys to pick up that with those wonderful China charge parts and keep on driving. All right, boys and girls. Well, now I want to see what the Rice Miata can do zero to sixty. Now, this isn't the most accurate way of doing this, but I don't really have a V box or anything. So, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna tell Courtney to go. She's got the timer right here, and then I'm gonna tell her to stop, and we're gonna see. Uh, honestly, I'm guessing. I'd like to see. I mean, I'd love to see like four seconds, but we'll probably see like six or something. Courtney, are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? All right, here we go. Tell me when. I'll tell you when. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, I went the fifth. Did you, you didn't say stop or anything. I didn't say stop. 
I just I stopped when you started screaming. I went to fifth, and we chirped. It was, all of it was bad. Yeah. All of it was bad. <laughs> Redo. All right, take two. You ready, Courtney? Yeah. All right, on your marks, get set, go. <laughs> for a 200 horsepower Miata. Like, I'm not trying to say this thing is super fast. Like, my Roadster, my GTR, I mean, the Evo, every car I have will probably beat it. But, I don't know what it is, man. Just turbo Miatas are just so much fun because you can just beat the balls out of them and they don't care. All right, let's hit it, take it from the top. The launch is the hardest part because, like, the, t the turbo's a little laggy. We don't hit boost until, like, 4,000 RPMs. You know what I mean? I know exactly you know. what you mean, actually. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> wow, we almost just got it again. I know. Well, zero to 60, six seconds. At least we didn't go to hell that time. All right, guys, well, we're gonna put the camera down for a little bit because my sweet, beautiful girlfriend, she is gonna learn how to drive. Well, she can already drive stick, but she's gonna get better at it in the Rice Miata. It's the only right thing to do here. And um, we're not gonna film this process until she's driving this thing down the street. We are at Harbor Freight. We need to do some shopping, because as you guys know, the Rice Miata, for now, she is kind of my daily, and I've been dealing it around for the last few days turboed and it's honestly been a blast. I mean, what are you thinking of it, man? You're so excited for yours, I know you are. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, the only thing is you're gonna have a forge engine like right away. Yeah. So you're just gonna go full balls to the wall. Well, I gotta do the braking period. Yeah, so. which I'm really stoked that I did this first because I knew I was gonna have to do that and it was gonna be a cock tease. You're just, you're just impatient. I'm impatient, but honestly to me it was worth it. It just took one day of my life and now here we are turboed. That's true. Anyways, now that the Rice Miata is full drift effect and the LS3 E36 is gonna be coming back because we just got that clutch, I see a lot of drifting in my future. And every time I go drifting, I find myself grabbing like my Snap-on, my Mako tools and like loading up my trailer box with like literally $1,500 worth of tools. And then I worry that we're gonna lose something, someone's gonna miss something. And I just don't wanna do that anymore. So right now, I just wanna go shopping at Harbor Freight. I wanna get a full toolbox and I wanna see how much it's gonna cost me. I'm gonna get every single thing I need that, that I think I need to fix my car on the go. So also when I go with Adam, that um, I don't have to use his tools because I hate asking people for tools. All right guys, so the first thing we obviously need to buy is the toolbox to put the tools in. So the two that I'm looking at is this nice red one. This is full steel, so it'll be very durable other than these clips are a little weak, but I have the inside track club. And if I get this one, oh wait, the stainless steel tool. Yeah, if I get this one, it's 17 bucks instead of 24. So we're gonna go with this one. We're also trying to do this on a budget because I don't want to spend more than $300 today. So now that we got the toolbox, we're gonna check out uh, sockets and ratchets because that's the next important thing. All right, so we're looking at ratchets now and I think I'm just gonna get one of each. So we're gonna get one of these bad girls. I'm kind of a bot hurt for matching. So we're all gonna get the black and red handles. So we got the quarter inch. Oh, you know what? I kind of want the extendo. I do like the flex heads, but the extendo is nice because like, oh yeah, no, I don't like that. This is quarter inch and three eighths. I hate those actually. I think this is a good size for the three eighths and it's got the flex head. Hopefully Harbor Freight stepped their game up and we don't snap that, but that's a pretty good choice. And then I always get these for the half inch ratchets. I mean, I still have one of these in my toolbox to this day from like, I don't know, two years ago and it still works. And the cool thing about Harbor Freight is everything is lifetime warranty, just like Snap-on or Mako. So although these tools are a little cheaper, well, a lot cheaper actually, um, if you break them, you get new ones for free. So it's not that big of a deal. Look at these, okay. This is kind of a bit too legit for what I'm going for. I do like the new Icon stuff though. It is nice. It's fucking double the price of what the other stuff is though. They're trying to make a budget snap on here. And I, I hate the colored sockets. I think that's stupid. All right, so we're gonna get some of these bad girls. 13 bucks for all this. Not freaking bad. And it goes all the way up to 14. That's perfect. We're gonna do three eighths deep and shallow just to be sure. 
Where's the shallow? The fuck? What's going on here? I don't think they have it. Stuff one's fine, dude. No, it's not. Just for, just for like a... Yeah, but I'm like a bot hurt. I can't do that. All right, so it looks like they don't actually carry six point shallow three eighth sockets right now. They're only 12 points and I'm kind of a bot hurt and I don't want those. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get these. These are six point and we're just gonna get the adapter that goes from three eighths to quarter inch so we can still use this on our three eighths ratchet. And then we'll have shallow sockets still. And then we just grab some big boys. Then we're pretty freaking good for sockets. What do you think of the toolbox so far? Looks pretty legit. Not bad, dude. I'm never gonna have to ask anyone for tools again. Ooh, we need extensions. That's... Have you got a spark plug socket? Ooh, dude, good call. I'm usually a 5 8 kind of guy. Yeah. So look at that. They sell 10 mils because yeah. they just know that you. You know what? I'm gonna buy one just yes, in just case. In case. <laughs> Do you have one big Bertha? Oh, yeah, dude, one. yeah, you? tell me you don't love these things. Yeah, oh, wait, are, is this? Oh, it is half inch. Okay. These are amazing. They're so good and they don't break, dude. They really don't. I've had one of these for three years. Yeah, they're good. Um, but we definitely want some of these just in case we have to mess around with different size sockets and everything. The extensions are always so good to have. <laughs> dude, that's Big Bertha right there. 90 bucks. That's really not bad for one. For one like this it's size, full inch too. yeah, for one this size, it's literally like $300 in the snap-on truck. Dude, that's what we call leverage. Leverage, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, I need your opinion. Do you think I should get these kind of Allen keys or do you think I should just get an Allen key set like oh. the L wrenches? Well, you need kind of both. You need both. Yeah. I, I heard it from the Japan drifter here. You need both. Don't threaten me with a good time, mate. Get the ones that you can get in at different angles. You think so instead of these? Yeah. That's an extra three bucks, dude. You think it's worth it? Four worth bucks? It. Trust me. You're All stuck right, man. The side of the track. All right, I'm stuck on the side of the track. Money doesn't matter right now. You're right. <laughs> and then also get the Allen key set. Yeah, that's not over here. But we do need extensions. I honestly, I think I might buy extensions somewhere else because I hate these. I hate the wiggle sockets or the extensions. Oh, they're so annoying. Dude, they're it. so bad. Yeah. I hate using them with a passion. So I'm not gonna get those. I'll find extensions somewhere else if I have to. Honestly, I have so many extensions at the shop that I can put some in my toolbox and it won't be a problem. This is important. Just in case you never know when you're gonna need one of these. So I'm... What are we gonna use that for, dude? <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to do You gonna that. be fixing I've my pipes? Seen a... Yeah. <laughs> been sleeping with my daughter, mate? Oh my, do you have a daughter? I do not. <laughs> She's single? All right, so we're definitely gonna need some wrenches. I'm a butt hurt for, I want that ratcheting flex head, dude. I know this is supposed to be the kind of a budget thing, but I need ratcheting flex head because those save lives. They really do. Honestly, dude, for 20 bucks, this ain't bad. This is, yeah, this ain't bad, dude. I like stubbies. There, th there they are, man, right here. It only goes up to 15. I need a 17 for sure. I don't know when I'll need it, but I'm, I'll need it. So the 15, 14, 13, 12. Honestly, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this instead of the flexors. Cause this one only goes up to 15, which is very inconvenient for me. But the 10 and the 12 flex head is so good. And the 14, damn, I'm, I'm balling out. I'm getting both. So much for a budget. Dude, never know when you're gonna need a hammer, dude. Never know. Always need a hammer. Always need a hammer. Hammer fixes it all. Oh, wait, we're definitely gonna need some screwdrivers too. Screwdrivers are a very important piece of the puzzle. This is good for your radiator hoses and all of that. Oh yeah. We got, dude, is this just metric? Yeah, yep. Just the metric yeah, one. that's perfect. That's, I hate American anything. Uh -huh. Hate it. Yeah, I think these are gonna be good here. It's got, all, it's got the stubbies. It's got the normal ones. We're pretty good. It's got the magnetic tips that probably don't work. That's fine. Just in case we're in the hood. Definitely need pliers. Yeah, you know, these like will always save your life. Can you agree with this? 100%. These are so good to have in a toolbox. These are really handy too though. Yeah. Oh, why don't you just get the pack? There you go, man. It's actually cheaper that way. Put that back, put the pack in, and then we just need your simple plier set. Like this, this is good. It's got the dikes, it's got the short needle nose, it's got the pliers, every, it's got everything. Yeah, I'm thinking this is the best kit for what we need. So we're gonna get that. Do we need vice grips? I'm like trying to think. If your steering wheel comes off and you need something to drive home with, we've seen that done before online. Maybe just like one pair. Just, just, just for safety. <sighs> just for safety. 
<laughs> Imagine that, your steering wheel breaks off. So you drive <laughs> and I'm using it. <laughs> grab a tape measure in case we need to um, adjust the coilovers. So we'll just grab this one. This one's okay. What? It's pretty long. Ooh, yeah. No, we definitely need some pry bars for sure. Good call on that one. I forgot. Are we going to be able to fit all this in our box? That'll be the, the funnest part. Ooh, you know what every race car driver needs? What? This. I know you agree with this one. I'm also going to grab some self-tappers. <laughs> so, me and Sam both agree that I think this is good. I think no matter what breaks at the track, I think we will have a solution and a tool to fix. Maybe not the part, but that's next. Like, if yeah. we bring the Miata, obviously you need to bring some extra axles, stuff like that. Just little stuff. We're going to go legit soon. I would get one of these here, but I'm just going to get a digital one off Amazon. I know you agree with that. These suck. Digital 2020. We're at the register, but we definitely need a magnet. How did we forget a magnet, dude? Come on. That's true. You drop a bolt, it's over. <laughs> All right, Sam, dude, you got the bucket of tools, man. Yeah, man. We didn't do that bad. Nice. So, like, I didn't really go budget per se because, like, anything I wanted, I kind of just grabbed. Yeah, you definitely pulled out. And we definitely got some, like, three or three four things for the shop as well. That's not even going in the toolbox. Yep. I said I wanted a $300 budget, yep. 350 bucks, dude. Yeah. Not freaking bad. And if you were on a real budget, like you just get a bucket. You wouldn't even yeah. get a toolbox. <laughs> Save 17 bucks right yeah. there, whatever it was. But honestly, I'm stoked. Um, you don't have to have Maco or Snap-on. I mean, these are gonna be just fine. And like I said, <gasps> no! Dude! I'm telling you, man. You always break my stuff. You always, dude, that's been together. Oh, thank God. Listen to me. That has been together for five years. I know. Five years, dude. <laughs> I know. I feel so do, bad. Do you believe me yet? I believe you. I'm starting to believe you. You break my stuff. I'm just not going to touch anything anymore. I'm going to wait till you do it. <laughs> and like, I even caught that on camera. It's probably like right there or something. I can't believe you, mate. I can't believe it either. It's on <laughs> Dude, you're just my bad luck charm. I don't know why. We forgot to buy wire crimpers, but I guess that's fine. It's all right, we love the team. Damn it, Sam it. Why? Dude. I so, just fixed it. He just tied a knot. He's over here like pulling on it and then he snaps it again, dude. I'm not even pulling you on it. You snap it again, man. Marcus is going to be upset with you, dude. He oh. made that fucking so long ago. Dude, that, this is original Powerade bottle cap and all. This is a five-year-old bottle cap. We'll keep the bottle cap. We'll just replace this with something that's not like a thousand knots and crimpers and... Well, just for now, I guess. You think it will work if it's like that and we pulled on it? Yeah, I don't want to slam it to find out. Oh, yeah, I get it. It works. Yeah, it just falls straight in. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the electrical tape. Oh, yeah, perfect. We're going to be here for an hour while you fix my bottle cap. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Today, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of all over the place, but it's okay because the video that I just made today is absolutely going to blow your mind. The Rice Miata, dude, that car is a champion. I, I don't even know how else to explain it. We went to the compound today and let me tell you, just be ready for tomorrow's upload because it's definitely going to be a banger. About the PC giveaway, we are going to be announcing the winner on Wednesday. So definitely stay tuned for Wednesday for everyone that has ordered something for the PC giveaway because that is when we are going to announce the winner. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the freaking banger. Peace.